Welcome to York Reacts. Today we're going to be checking out a very interesting story about a woman who can control her video game with her mind and basically make her character jump, attack, all these different things with some kind of electro device. That's a it's really interesting stuff. I can't wait to kind of dive into this. If you are new to my channel, I'm a game developer. I've been working in games for a little over 15 years now. I probably worked on games you've played like GTA 5 and Red Dead 2. And recently I worked on God of War Ragnarok. So hopefully I can kind of maybe give some cool insights to what's going on in this this kind of video and what this girl is doing with gaming so let's dive in and check this out also huge shout out to great big story these are the person this is the company who put together this video it's very well done and it's cool to see him kind of interview here and go through the process himself so shout out to uh, great big story i will leave their channel down in the description below Mind Control Gaming is exactly as it sounds. It is gaming with your mind. So in my so case, wild. I have an EEG that picks up my brain activity, and then I've just translated that into pushing buttons on a virtual controller. An EEG... Or she makes it sound so simple, like, you know, I just do this with my mind and make buttons work. <laughs> or an electroencephalogram, which I've had to spend a few... Electroencephalogram. Weeks practicing how to say, is uh, a bunch of electrodes that go on your scalp and it picks up the electromagnetic brain activity that, that comes from your head. It That's can so cool. look and see what kind of activity is going on and if I've trained it to recognize what this means, then it can look and see if you're doing that. For instance, imagining something coming towards you could make the character attack in game, something lifting dodge, and something sinking in water heal. I and what I wonder is, <clears throat> how you, I guess you think of the same thing in your brain each time, right? So every time you kind of uh, make an intention with your brain, right? You do this kind of like, you think about something like she was saying, making that cube grow bigger and then it will trigger that. I can move the character by tilting my head. The kind of things that you should say. She just said she can move the character by tilting her head. That would be kind of annoying because every time you're trying to move, you're like over here you know, moving your head all over the place. It'd be nice to just think about moving forward and he moves forward, you know? To me to get some brain activity or anything that would elicit a really strong emotion. The best one that I've seen so far is fear and shock. Hmm. <laughs> so when I'm playing horror games, it lights up if, if there's a jump scare. Okay, fear, so... Uh, I don't know what to say. Um... <laughs> wow, see that? This is a live activity feed of her brain right now. So on the left side, we're seeing a live feed of her brain. And look at it fire off when he scared her. I'm embarrassed that Everything that works. Like, That's not good. That's a bad sign. That's okay. a bad, bad sign. I'm pretty sure we're playing a horror game. See? Wow. Okay. I'm running. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, okay. Wow, look at that. Pink is panic. Look at her whole thing is pink. Right now, I'm really, really into games like anything that's dark fantasy RPG, like Souls like games, games that are really difficult and punishing. I like that because that shows a true gamer, you know, somebody who likes a challenge. You could tell that this girl is like a, a real gamer. You can really tell that. I think maybe that's just part of my personality. Look, you're playing this game. This is so cool. With her mind. It took me too. about six months to make it work wow. the first time, just to make it push a button in the game. And wow, it took her six months to make it work in game. That would, you know, sometimes you got to just keep trying something, keep iterating on it, keep working on it. She knew that she was going to get to that destination that she was eventually get it to work or else why would she spend six months on it, right? She, sometimes in life, you got to have like, you can't see the end like goal. You just got to keep like moving forward. There's an old saying that this guy uh, said, I think, I think it was, I forget who it's from, but basically you don't have to see the whole staircase. You just have to take the first step. And that's what she did. She went in here and went step after step after step until she got to where she was. And right Here's now it. I'm on 10 months into the project oh. and it's still not <laughs> perfect. I may have missed the turn. The main obstacle though wasn't building the controller or doing the coding. The main obstacle was getting the mental commands to work. So actually thinking of what I should be visualizing yeah. to record. And I had to train them up for about 
I think in total we're on 600 hours of, of doing the same pattern over and over again and hours, telling the software what to remember. And that's just of the visualizations I have now. So there were loads of other iterations that didn't work because they were too similar to each other or they mm. just didn't make any sense. Or I was, there was one where I was imagining pulling something down from the sky and then I realized about three hours into doing it that that's not going to work because then I'm not looking at the monitor. <laughs> I'm not mm. looking at the game. <gasps> Interesting. <laughs> But my She's first even moment. Playing Valorant with this. See, this is the thing I was kind of worried about is that if you're playing a game that's like very intense, like Apex Legends or something, we have tons of buttons that you're like, press this button, then this button, then this. That would be really hard with your by doing it mind control, I would think. And for it to be triggering it and, and boom, 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 boom. And it being fast enough, like real time, fast is not faster than your finger. And it should be faster because it's from your mind, right? But I don't know if the device would pick it up that fast, if that makes sense, right? Like your brain is firing super quick. I forget what the, like, you know, actual speed of it, you know, your brain. But it's it's firing faster than almost any anything about it, just like a computer is, right? So it probably would fire off um, and do the stuff good enough for an FPS shooter. But it's I would assume that it's it still has a lot of time until they get this working properly to where you could use your brain to just boom, 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 like switch your gun, then do this, then jump, then slide. I don't know if it's ready for that yet, but I'm, that's why I'm shocked to see that she is playing Valorant. That's really impressive. Where I thought, there's no way this is possible. I can't believe that this is happening. This must be a fluke. This must be a mistake. Was yeah. the first time that it worked. So I was running around with the character Steve in Minecraft and it was the first ever visualization. It was pushing a block forward and I wanted him to swing his fist in mine and then I did it and then he did it. And it was just Imagine the wildest thing. Feel. I was absolutely blown away and I yeah. thought, this is such a far out idea yeah. based on something that I've never tried before. <laughs> and as far as I'm aware, very few people have. Yeah, I don't think anyone is doing this right now. I know that there's like certain people who have disabilities who have different controllers and different things they're doing to allow them to play the game without um, having hands or feet. Uh, they're using their feet to play the controller and, and all this different stuff. But I've never seen anyone try to do it with their minds. And it worked. And I had to do it over so and over cool. again, not to test it, not to make sure, not to get it better, <laughs> but just to believe that that was what, that, that actually was me doing it and not some random wild error. Yeah, <laughs> I felt cool. absolutely mind blown, I guess, mind pardon blown. the pun. <laughs> Right, so here's the guy who made, made this film. Uh, no. <laughs> He's gonna try it out himself, I guess. Let's try this. Let's calibrate this bad boy. So you're literally gonna visualize something you see as heavy. It can't be the cube mm -hmm. that you see on screen. And you're gonna imagine pushing it forward. Okay. Imagine pushing it forward. <laughs> imagine them trying to do this. <laughs> it's like you're like Jedi trying to <laughs> look at his face. That's oh, I'm definitely <laughs> losing focus. All right. That's hilarious, okay. dude. He's like... <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, rubbish. It's like Yoda over here. It now I'm like, can't perform. So you immediately <laughs> start thinking about it. There it goes. He's making it do it now. He's doing it. I saw it move, That's but I didn't so know. Cool. I thought that was like... I don't know if that was a problem. Oh, oh! He's like, oh! That is insane. So I'm now an Elden Love Ring, it. and I'm going to try and cast a spell through pushing an imaginary block. I'm already thinking imaginary about it. Right, this is here so we go. Cool. Wow, yes! you made it work. That's probably I didn't think cool I was going to get it as well. Yes! Wow. <laughs> I, I can like feel, feel his excitement Honestly, you feel right now. So you know? powerful. Like, that's probably pretty awesome, dude. This is like when you first pick up a video game. I really want to try that out. Like rad, like in skate, you do a kickflip with an analog stick and you like discover a mechanic for the first time. And it's not like anything else you've experienced in gaming. This is unbelievable. Yeah. The feeling is just ridiculous. But you also 
still unnerving a little bit. <laughs> it used to give me a headache at the beginning, but that's just from the headset your concentration itself. Too. The actual oh. process, it requires a lot of focus and energy, but yeah. it doesn't hurt. I don't know how this has affected my brain properly, but I have noticed that my focus has improved a lot, which as someone oh, with ADHD has really helped me just do things day to day life when I'm not gaming. You kind of have to focus a lot when you yeah. are trying to, for example, defeat a boss in Elden Ring, because the way that the mental commands and visualizations yeah. work is that you have to think of the same thing every single time in the that would be so hard exact same way so if you deviate from that a little bit if you think about something else then it just won't work so when you have a boss running towards you it can be really difficult to focus yeah. on for example sinking something and drinking a potion but that's yeah. just practice it's, and i think that's, that's why so it has weird. really helped improve my focus in general because being able to lock that out and go internal in terms of what you're imagining is a really really useful skill i think Wow, look at this. She's playing Halo. And she even killed someone. <laughs> this is the technology is out there to be able oh to control God. things with your mind. They're controlling loads of prosthetics with it, but no one's really applied it to gaming. And by getting the technology out there, my, my thought process was that, one, it would be a really cool thing to do, but also that it might raise a little bit of awareness for what's possible. Yeah, and a lot the of the time out. when we think about accessibility issues, we think about what is the bare necessities. But gaming and being involved with what your friends are doing and being involved with entertainment and media is also a necessity. So if we can do Especially something with this uh, at some point in time with enough funding and development, then that would be really cool. That was really, really neat. You know, this is something different on my channel, but it, you know, it's video game related. So I really wanted to kind of share it with you guys because I thought it was really incredible how this girl is doing something different with her career and life and, and pursuing something like, you know, if you think about it, she doesn't even have to do this. <laughs> she has hands. She has a, she's a very capable human being. She could just play the video game, but she is doing this for her career and she's kind of went down this path because she's interested in it and she's also a gamer. And I really commend her for that. I'm going to leave her channel down below, her Twitch channel. Definitely check her out. When I went and looked, she was currently live playing the game with her, <laughs> with her mind. So definitely go check her out. Show her some love. Tell her that you came from my channel. I'd really appreciate that. I, this is some cool stuff. I'm really interested in what you guys' thoughts are on it. No pun intended, as they say. But... Let me know your thoughts on this. If you would try this out and like, you know, you'd want to try playing a game with your mind. This stuff is really, really cool. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, check out some other of my videos here. I have all kinds of cool, interesting breakdowns and also some behind the scenes on games I've worked on. So if you have some time, sit back and check it out. I appreciate all your guys' time and support and I'll catch you guys in the next one.